Good Morning Savannah, working for you. Welcome back to Good Morning Savannah. It is 645 right now. A year ago, I introduced you to Ronnie Brooks, a man so memorable that people still stop him today and say that they loved hearing his story on TV. So here on this Valentine's Day, we are gonna hear also from a woman whose strength is equally uplifting. I give you the love story that has become my biggest privilege to tell. I feel great, you know, I came a long way, as you know. Um, It might be difficult to admit, but we've all lived through at least some of Ronnie Brooks' struggles. I'm more furious with myself. Furious that two and a half years ago, he left a job and a family in Atlanta. When he and I talked on camera a year ago, he didn't reveal why life unraveled. He admits it now. I thought I was in love with somebody, but I really wasn't. Um, it was just a lot of emotions just took over. After troublesome relationships and some depression, Brooks made the rash decision to up and leave. Do you feel that was the right decision? Now, when I look back on it, it was the wrong decision. What was done was done. He took a bus to Savannah, and then he was out on the streets. I, I put a lot of things in respect there. I said, what do I need to do? I had my, um, my VA resources book with me at the time, so I started calling the VA hotline. They told me, hey, go to inner city night shelter. They will help you out. But then he had to help himself. That was the game-changing moment. I put myself in the right frame of mind and say, hey, I need to start over. You know, you could do this. Don't think you can do this. He spent seven months in homeless shelters, a year and a half in a boarding house. And today, he happily turns the key to the lock at this east side home. Like I tell everybody, some things we don't want to do, but we have to do. You know, we have to do this to make a better life for yourself. He's worked very hard since joining Vicks on the River. Ronnie's time here at this riverfront restaurant has only gotten better since I talked to him a year ago, but things in his personal life have gotten dramatically better as well. This is the only man he's known. In the fall, Brooks reunited with Dee Dee Johnson, the woman he first fell in love with eight years ago in Atlanta. With her also came Messiah and Ronnie Jr. Remember those relationship troubles? These two have learned to forgive and move forward. What kind of man do you have in Ronnie? He's caring, loving, and supportive. How are the kids responding? Like they love the fact that they have daddy back. Now you see why Brooks gets emotional. He says Dee Dee is his rock. Turns out he is her rock too. I'm a cancer survivor and he's been there through the surgery and everything. Johnson said her latest tests reveal the cancer is gone. Life is a battle and it's all in how you take it. You can give up or you can press on. These two are definitely pressing on. They say that God can come in a twinkling of an eye. Do you live each day like it's your last? Love as hard as you can and laugh even more. There's one more surprise to this follow-up story. I checked in with Ronnie Brooks' boss, the general manager of Vicks on the River. Ronnie was named the Employee of 2013. Vicks gives this award to the best person in the kitchen and the other to the best front of the house worker, and that is where Ronnie works. Hands down, Ronnie goes above and beyond. Um, Almost all our employees here. He just works that, and he makes it look easy. So you know, people like working with him. He's fun to work with. Um, he offers to do things before we ask him. That kind of stuff. So he's just, uh, just one of the special people. And here you go, sir. Thank you. you no, know, it was funny because everybody's like, "Yeah, you're gonna get it." I'm like, eh, "If I get it, if I get it, if I don't, I don't. It doesn't matter to me. You know, I'm still gonna be the same person regardless. You know, I'm still gonna be helping people out. You know, encouraging them. Just you know, we we work." you know, hard, but you play too awesome. But the main thing, you want to be an inspiration to somebody else. Like I said, there's no such word as you can't. You can't become anything you want to be. Wise, wise words. Now, besides the recognition, Ronnie's company gave him and a guest a certificate for a three-day, two-night stay at a beach resort in Florida. He tells me he is definitely taking DD, of course. <laughs> 